the strongest and most confident women out there are willing to walk away from anyone that does not see her value. If people don't appreciate what they already have, what makes you think pouring more of yourself is going to make him realize and wake up to the fact that, oh yeah, maybe she's my person. When a woman can walk away from the man, what she's really doing is giving him the space necessary to gain clarity about the situation. Sometimes we undervalue what we have the most access to and overvalue what we don't have access to. What does that even mean? <laughs> You know, normally I would be inclined to agree with such ideas. If you're in a bad situation with a person and it's negatively affecting you, then absolutely walk away and don't look back. But judging from your demeanor and the profoundly self-absorbed speech, I think it's safe to assume that we're not talking about an inhuman monster here. And also judging from your language, you sure as hell aren't talking about any average dude on the market, which means you're talking about his royal highness, the legend, the slayer of undergarments, the tester of bed frame warranties, King Tyronius Ray. Aurelius first in his name and sister, nobody walks away from the king. He decreed that you were too much work for precious little payoff, so he exiled you from Cheek Clapper Castle, and trust me, sweetheart, you won't be missed. It is not an easy thing for a woman to walk away from anything that she feels emotionally invested in. So if a woman is emotionally invested in a man and has the strength in her to walk away from anything that is emotionally draining her energy, that is a powerful woman, and that woman gets what the f she wants. Are you sure? Does she though? Let's make an attempt at the impossible and try to break down your mindless chatter with some logic. You're clearly emotionally invested in the good king and you want to be this man's queen, not his entry level concubine, but you settle for this position in hopes that he'll somehow have a brain aneurysm and choose you over the hundreds of younger, fertile, and agreeable women that are throwing themselves at him. You know he's not going to choose you, but that doesn't stop you from tricking yourself into thinking that you might have a shot. So when he kicks you to the curb, oh I mean you walk away, you are no longer in contact with the king, nor will you ever be his queen. So in essence, you didn't get a single thing that you wanted. You start walking away from anyone that does not see your value, you are going to feel so much better about yourself, so much more confident, so much more unstoppable. And the rewards that come after are so much greater because you actually respected yourself. First of all, the feeling of confidence alone is enough. Then you stop dealing with people that are emotionally draining for your energy. And then third, you start attracting what it is that you actually want because you said no to things that were not meant for you. You have had the frontal lobe of your brain removed and replaced with bubble wrap. So what exactly is your value? What makes you think you're so special and unique that it sets you apart from all of the other modern chicks out there who are humiliating themselves regularly on TikTok? I'll tell you what, darling, that ain't confidence. That's you being a high maintenance pain in the proctologist money pit. Be serious for a second, woman. You are so delusional that you think there's just some handsome, rich, well-built dude out there who's meant just for you. Now, I will admit stranger things have happened in this world, but I don't think there's a highly successful CEO type who's looking for a damaged broad that's over the age of 35. At least not one who's willing to settle for a woman who's as average sounding as you. And come on, even if a man were to exist, you'd still figure out a way to be insufferably unhappy and will ultimately walk away once you have his money in your handbag. You're so damaged that you're incapable of doing otherwise. That's funny because it's so true. <laughs> you know what pisses me off so much? No, and I don't care. When men are vocal about not wanting to pay for dates, as though it's like a feminist position, they like pretend that they're evening out the gender playing field by not paying for her dinner, as though like the playing field has not been skewed in their favor in every other situation, and all they're doing is like skewing it now more evenly in the one area where it has benefited women. <laughs> oh wait, you're serious. Hold up, you're gonna sit there and tell me with a straight face that the only advantage a woman has on this planet is getting free dinners? That men somehow hold so much power in subjugation over women that we only allow them a free meal on a date every once in a while? I've actually met men who have made lined intergalactic great paint thinner and have kept more brain cells than you currently possess. Not because of your argument, which is completely wrong in almost every capacity, but because when men say that that women should have to pay for their own meals, it has nothing to do with feminism. It has everything to do with proving a point. The first point being that whenever someone reflects your own ideological gibberish back at you, you get butt hurt because we pointed out your hypocrisy. And second, you always end up ordering the most expensive thing. And if you want the most expensive thing, you should pay for it. Like women have to pay more for hygiene products. Women 
are expected to spend more time and money on their appearance or else they're not respected at work and they're not going to get paid the same amount that men are. Uh, But women don't get paid the same amount that men do at work anyway. And you might be like, oh, that's because women choose lower paying fields. No, they don't. It's just that any time that like women occupy a field, then they start paying the women less. What? (laughs) (laughs) All right, sister, let's pretend we live in a magical fantasy land with chocolate waterfalls and a place where men find you physically attractive. So let's say that these companies will intentionally pay women less when they enter a field. This is a fantasy land where this is completely legal and homogeneously accepted by society. So then why wouldn't these evil patriarchy CEO bosses fire all of the men, replace them with women, and legally pay them less than what they would pay a man? Do you mean to tell me that companies hold women in such contempt that they're willing to sacrifice their annual profits to pay men more and spite you in the process. You really don't know how basic economics works, do you? Oh, probably not. You strike me as a gender studies major. I'm surprised you can actually speak basic English. And then if there's a bunch of women occupying a field, even if it's one that traditionally men have occupied, they'll just like the the value in that field will decrease because women are there. Like women are being discriminated against in every other way, and you can't pay for fucking dinner, and, and you're pretending that it's because you care about women? I must have missed 60 minutes. What are you saying? Well, if that was even remotely true, who gets to determine the value of that field? How exactly do they lower that value? Is there some type of evil doom layer in the center of the earth where there's a legion of evil patriarchs who just flip levers that magically determine the dollar value of coal miners? Or is there some kind of a red phone that they use to call the president of some company and give them evil marching orders? Woman, just face it. You want your cake and you want to eat it too. You demand equality, but you still want to be treated like a lady. You want money, but you want men to spend theirs first. You act like this empowered paragon of equal justice, but still act like a victim of some kind of evil power just so you can get out of paying for your own damn dinner. Well, you wanted equality, so you got equality. So I suggest you pull out your wallet and pay for your own stupid food. And remember, it's a minimum 20% tip. Anything less supports the patriarchy. Check me. Check me. Check me. Bang. Men are the problem. Every single woman I know has a vision for the future, knows what they want out of life. You ask a woman where she sees herself in 10 years, she has an idea. Men, on the other hand, ask a man where he sees himself in 10 years. He doesn't know. Ask him if he wants a relationship. He doesn't know. Ask him if he sees himself having kids. He doesn't know. (laughs) Woman, what you just said is impossible. How do I know this? Well, if I ask you what you want for dinner, you'll look at me as if I asked you for the square root of something. You'll get furious with me for not deciding dinner for the both of us and not magically knowing what you wanted for dinner before you even knew it yourself. Either way, you don't have a freaking clue what you want for dinner. And if you can't even figure that out, how in the hell are you supposed to be expected to know what you want out of your own life? Men actually do know what they want. And many of us know what we don't want. And I may not know exactly where I'll be in 10 years, but I know where I won't be. And that's breeding with you. Multiply that by a few million self-respecting men and you've got one of your answers right there. I'm glad I could be of service. No need to thank me. I'm merely spreading the ethically sourced message of the intergalactic space god Cold Row with Chard All Hail. And I know people are gonna be like, that's a lifestyle. Not everyone has to want kids. Oh, I'm not talking about men who say I don't want to get married or have kids. I'm talking about the men who, I don't know, maybe. 35 years old, figure it out. What do you want? You live in your brain 24 seven and you don't even know what you want. They know, they just don't care. Woman, men are not that complicated. Most men know what they want. And if you're getting frustrated over the fact that these men aren't telling you what you want to hear, then you already have your answer. Many men out there would want nothing more than to start a family with a good woman and do what humans have been doing for generations. But there's a bit of a shortage of those nowadays. When these men say they don't know what they want, they're trying to avoid a massive blowout. The only kind of blowout those particular men are interested in involves your back. So these guys aren't going to be honest with you. And he's not going to tell you what you want to hear either. So you either accept it or move on. Either way, keep your nose out of his business. Newsflash. Going out four nights a week, binge drinking, is shallow and empty and meaningless. It's not a life. 
It can be a phase in your life. We're talking about 40 year old men who've just done that for the past two decades. Get it together. Lady, you're scaring us. <laughs> oh, you are in no position to judge, sister, because staying at home for seven nights a week, applying inhuman amounts of makeup on your face while you complain incessantly about men while passing unwarranted judgment is even more shallow, empty, and meaningless. You're passing judgment on a guy who knows exactly what he wants out of life, and that's to drink with his buddies. Is it healthy? No. Is it productive? Probably not, but he's made his choice, so why do you care? If a 35-year-old frat boy wants to spend the rest of his life performing a reenactment of his glory days, then leave him be and move on to the next guy. I assure you that he will provide you with an absurd reason for you to remain single and childless at the age of 35. And then you'll once again go on your camera, apply even more makeup on that face of yours, and get even angrier at us for no reason. And rest assured, we will be sitting here laughing our freaking asses off every single time. And that's gonna do it for today's video, gentlemen and gents. And as always, if you find that my particular brand of comedy is bringing you to the brink of laughter, then why don't you scroll on down and click that like and subscribe button. Maybe ring the notification bell, leave a couple of comments, share this video so we can get the word out and give the good old fashioned middle finger to the YouTube algorithm. And it is always an honor and a privilege to be creating content for every single one of you magnificent sons of bitches. Thank you so much for checking out the new video and until next time, peace out homies.